When he's not moving around Abusho camp for internally displaced people, Ishaq Hafiz usually spends his time at home. One of the chiefs of the camp, he says he takes his free time to pray for the family members he lost in the Darfur war. My brother Mohammed and my cousin Yahia were both killed during the start of the war in 2003. Both died just a day apart. Our village was attacked by Arabs and they fought back. Things were safe for a little while, but then the attackers came back and killed them. I fled with the children. The war started in 2003 and killed more than 300,000 people. In 2007 and 2009, the International Criminal Court issued arrest warrants for several senior officials, including then-President Omar al-Bashir, the first sitting president to be indicted by the court while in office. The court says war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide were committed in the Western region. But only one of those wanted by the court is currently under trial in The Hague. It wasn't only government forces, but also rebel groups that were accused of atrocities during the war in Darfur. Survivors and other victims of arbitrary killings, forced disappearances, sexual violence and burning of villages are demanding justice. But there is little here to indicate anyone will be held to account. A peace deal was signed in 2020 to end the war, a year after President Bashir was ousted. And while the deal stipulates those who committed crimes in Darfur should be tried, those here say the fact that the government was involved makes them doubt that will happen. The crimes against humanity, the crimes that involve government figures, the perpetrators always get away. It's a big disappointment to the revolution in 2019 when people called for justice. It hurts to see those who committed crimes against us walking free while we continue to suffer. Ishaq says he doesn't know if he'll see justice for the killings of his family members. But he says if that day comes, he'll know that the war has truly come to an end. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Abu Shok Camp, North Darfur.